Hello, we're about to assemble the Pig Perego Coral 330 T-Rex. So it takes about 15 or 20 minutes, so we'll get to it. Um, be very careful to bring the, open the box properly and bring it out of the wheel side. The main axle. Wheels, obviously. See? Two more wheels, worth noting there's no difference uh, with front and back wheels, so you don't have to watch that. Take Perego brochure and the instruction manual. And with the steering wheel here, there's a little connector on this, just be really careful with this one. It's a relatively easy model to put together, so um, it's always good just to keep the different component parts together. You have the hardware, the screws on a separate sheet. And, uh, two, four, six, seven, and two nine screws. Nine screws is all that's required. And all you need is a Phillips screwdriver. And I suggest a Phillips screwdriver rather than a screw gun because these need to be just you need to be careful when um, when putting these together. There are four of the same length screws, um, and then there are six, if I remember. Sorry, five, three, and two um, different screws, and they're washers. That's all our hardware. Yep, that's it. And we'll go as per the instructions, I just have to be careful on this one. Um, So we have two, I'm just going to go close with these two fat head screws um, that go into the side of this into the front chassis as follows. It clips underneath, a small bit of hand force, and just align them, it can actually be a small bit tricky, just align them with the actual hole here. experience these can be a small bit tricky so bear with me a second Thank you. 
this is just so it takes a little second. No immediate interruption. Next two longer screws are going into the chassis. Go to hand tighten, just a small bit beyond. You don't want to over tighten these because you are dealing with plastic. And even though it's tough plastic, it still is plastic. Fairly obviously, you connect like so, and then you feed. You see, there's a circular opening here. It's important, really important, that you feed the cable in because if you don't, there's a danger you'll pinch it. If you pinch it, danger you'll break it. So we feed it into the steering column. there Small bit of force required on this one actually because it's it's going through actually uh, a metal column in the middle. And you'll know again when you're done. At this point they're just going to put on the two hand grips. These guys. And you will see there's actually the little serrated edge make sure they're on the underside of the grip and the per peg perego logo facing forward so you'll see very clearly one is left and one is right and just a small little tap on and 
and last bit of screwing this actually can be a little bit confusing for people um, these are like little mud flaps you have a left and a right and they're screwed underneath so I'll just show you you feed these in with your hand small bit of dexterity required here the first one second lock underneath so be really careful I get the right screws yeah it's the two lads with the slightly thicker head so there's only one on each side And just repeat the dose on the other side. You'll see when you're doing these, yeah, there we go. They, they kind of just pop over the edge and they lock in. So this one is there. That gives a little bit more heat than the other. There we go. And there we go. There we go. screws a little um, mock-up exhaust so you'll see the clip in at one side and screwed at the other and you've only um, so there is no left and right just pop pop it into the hole These are purely visual, they're no way functional at all. And same on the other side. Finally now, four wheels. That is the hardware done, all that stuff. I go through the front wheels first. On the front wheel, you'll see there are two white little shaped plastic washers. Uh, they're what, octagonal shaped, not octagonal. So 
the wood on the inside. That slots on. And again, uh, there isn't a back or a front wheel, but the front wheels take the two little octagonal shapes. washers and I just want to check the they go on the front or the back wheel. Yeah, the two large washers go on the back wheel. So we simply will hand tighten at the moment, two small washers, two small bolts. Nearly forgot to plan the hubcap. I always just hand tighten these uh, until we're finished, just in case we forgot something. Back wheels. Um, we'll put in the long axle at the back. On the back wheels. You must put in um, you see on the back of the wheel. There are five holes, and then you have this little thing. Make sure you have the the five. Is it octagonal? It's not octagonal. <laughs> Shape and they go in. And again, there's no left or right. And you feed them through, and they fit perfectly locked in there. And the same on the other side. Again, we have the hubcap with the large plastic washer. Sorry, there's a little, there's a little dent in the middle that faces downwards into the wheel. Then we put on our nut, and we flip to the far side and repeat. Again, hubcap, plastic washer with the hole facing downwards, and hand tight. I forgot two important things. There's two large washers. These go on the front wheel, so good job I didn't hand tighten them. Just take them off. They actually go on the inside here, right against the frame. This large washer on the front of the lift. No, from experience, not to over tighten until we're finished. So, again, put it right against the frame. Craig 
spanners, which are handy in shape and very handy. If you have a 13 mil socket set, this is also handy for this one. So it's just a very quick tighten, and you hope that purely visual, it just pops on. Front left done. Spanners. You might need a second pair of hands. Just turn it this way because obviously the axle goes from one side to the other, so you need to tighten simultaneously. So a second pair of hands is handy here, but not exactly rocket science either. Three or four turns. So all that's left now is to put on the stickers and we typically leave that to the um, purchaser of the product. That's the Pig Perego Coral T-Rex 330W in green, also comes in pink. Thank you.